we had a Rick Dalton double feature in our screening room last night. Oh, wow. Well, that's both flattering and embarrassing. <laughs> uh, what'd you see? 35 millimeter prints of Tanner and the 14 fist McCluskey. I hope that the uh, Rick Dalton uh, double feature wasn't too <laughs> painful for you and the missus. Oh, no. Stop. Painful? What are you saying? Mary Alice loves westerns, and we thoroughly enjoy Tanner. That, that's nice. Really good. And then, uh, anyway, she goes to bed. And then I watched the 14 Fist McCluskey. What a picture. What a picture. Good picture, yeah. It'd be so much fun. All the shooting. That's, I love that stuff. You're the one with the killing. A lot of killing. A lot of killing. That's you operating the flamethrower, isn't it? You, you b bet your sweet ass it was. Yeah, yeah. L let me tell you, th that's one shit buck crazy ass weapon you do not want to be on the wrong side of. Boy, oh boy. I practiced with that dragon uh, three hours a day for two weeks. And not just because I wanted to look good in the picture, but because I was shit scared of the damn thing, to be honest. So, uh, you've been doing guest shots on episodic TV shows for the last couple of years? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, doing, uh, uh, a pilot for CBS right now. It's, it's called, uh, Lancer. I play the heavy. Did, uh, <clears throat> uh, Ronnie Lies Tarzan, Land of the Giants, Green Hornet. I did that show, uh, Bingo Martin with that kid Scott Brown. And I got, a an, an FBI that airs this Sunday. You, uh, you always play the bad guy on these shows? Yeah. And they have a fight scene at the end of them? Not uh, uh, not Land of the Giants or FBI, but the rest, yeah. And you lose in the fight? Yeah, of course. I'm the heavy. Oh, that's an old trick pulled by the networks. You take Bingo Morton, for example. So yeah, the new guy likes Scott Brown. You know, build up his bona fide to hire a new guy from a canceled TV show to play the heavy. So at the end of the show, when they fight, it's hero besting heavy. What the audience sees is Bingo Martin whipping Jake Cahill's ass. You see? Then next week, it's Ron Eli. Next week, it's Bob Conrad with his tight pants kicking your ass. Yeah. Now, another couple of years playing punching bag to every swinging dick neuter and network, that's going to have a psychological effect on how the audience perceives you. Right, yeah. So, Rick, who's going to, who's going to kick the shit out of you next week? Mannix? Man from Uncle? The girl from Uncle? How about Batman and Robin? Ping, pow, zoom, zoom. Down goes you, down goes your career as a leading man. Or do you go to Rome and start Westerns and win fucking fights?